Hi, I have an appointment at three for Lenny. So I'm just on my way to drop Sadie off at her dentist appointment. She's not happy, I know. I'm so sorry, baby. I know. Hi, I'm here to drop off Sadie. Okay, thank you. You're probably wondering what happened in those previous clips because I absolutely explained nothing after them. So I'm going to do that now. The first clip is me taking Lenny to his vet appointment. He had an appointment for his fur loss. If you didn't know, he's had a very consistent hair loss, hair growth type of thing that I can't figure out. I've changed his bedding brands multiple times. I've changed his uh, seed mix to see maybe if he's allergic to something. I've also treated him for mites So I wanted to get a, another opinion to try and figure this out 
So my vet did explain to me that uh, the mite treatment that I used, sometimes not all mite treatments are going to be as effective. So we did make the decision to uh, treat him with a dose of Revolution and then in three weeks I would treat him again with it to see if that would help. And if it didn't help, then I would have to go back and we'd try to further figure out his hair loss, unfortunately. She did explain there's not too many tests that we can exactly do on a hamster because it's pretty difficult because they are so small. So I am just going to continue to monitor him. Thankfully, he is still a active, happy, eating, drinking, going to the bathroom hamster. So there isn't any concern other than he loses his hair and grows it back, as well as he has had a slight amount in weight decrease, but I am going to be upping his calorie intake as well as fiber and fat. Now, as for Sadie, let me go get her. Sadie was supposed to have a dental surgery on September 4th to get some molars removed because they are misaligned. We woke up at 7.30 in the morning to leave because the vet is 30 minutes away, so it's quite a drive. I got Sadie in her carrier, she hates it, it's stressful for her, and we drove. We got there, I called the vets because that's what you're supposed to do during this time. Um, I called them to let them know I'm here and she said, I have to talk to my nurses. And right away I was like, that's not normal, something's wrong. And then she gets back on the phone and she goes, yeah, there's not a vet in today. We did try to call you to reschedule and we left a voicemail. And I'm like, first of all, I had zero phone calls on my phone. I also do not own a voicemail. It physically does not work. Uh, if you were to try to leave a voicemail, it would just say like, this person doesn't have a voicemail. So I explained to the receptionist that I had not received a call or a voicemail. And actually, in fact, I had called the vet's office the day before to ask when to not feed Sadie her dinner because you're not supposed to feed them before surgery. And nobody told me anything. They didn't say, oh, actually, the vet's not going to be in or how do you have an appointment tomorrow when there's not going to be a vet? Anything like that. They honestly did not try hard enough to contact me to let me know to that we were going to have to reschedule again. <sighs> so I had to drive all the way back home with the poor kitty who was just stressed out from the whole thing. I'm so sorry. So I don't know when or if Sadie is actually going to end up getting her teeth removed because it's just been a wild goose chase. And the last thing is I got the cats a brand new cat tree. You're maybe wondering why, I already have two. Um, this one is huge, <laughs> it's 63 inches tall, and uh, it was on sale and free shipping. So like, I'm a crazy cat lady, what, what can I say? So here is the cat tree, it's absolutely humongous. Both the cats love it, they love sleeping on these top bits where JJ is. Hey buddy, do you love it? <laughs> yeah, and they absolutely love these little mice on there. Can you see me? Oh. So because I put this cat tree here in the corner, I in fact moved their cream cat tree all the way into my room. So it's just in the corner here. I did have this cat tree there, but that one they don't use as much. So I'm going to be giving that to my friend. Um, but they love this one and they like <laughs> running and playing on it. I often get a lot of questions asking if I still have saffron, and I indeed do. He just doesn't get shown on camera a ton just because he doesn't like coming out of his enclosure. And a lot of the times he's an anger boy. Like currently he is going through mating season. Um, so that's why this paper towel is there. Uh, anything that would walk by or go by his enclosure, he would be so agitated by it. And it was keeping him awake. So that just had to go there. But look at him, he's so cute. When he's not a big anchor boy, he's just so cute. Just taking a big snooze. I wish you loved me. So this mouse toy has become Sadie's favorite toy recently. It came with the cat tree, but I have to show you guys how crazy she goes for it.
go in with it. <laughs> so I think the rabbits are one of the only ones who don't actually have an update really on them. They're both doing quite well. Um, hi, Noda. They're kind of done, they're molting. They just have a couple of floofs everywhere. Oh, Cleo, are you drinking your water? Oh my, you're so messy. Is that good water? Yes, it was good water. So the best brush for their molting was this one, I would have to say. I can't remember the name of it. I will make sure to leave it linked for you guys. But it's worked pretty well for removing just the fluffs, as you can see. Hey! I know, you guys hate being brushed without, without tweets! If you were wondering, the IKEA packaging works perfect for a rabid chew toy. Wouldn't you agree, Cleo? It's just this uh, thick cardboard that the rabbits enjoy chewing and throwing around. I have this tube and it has cardboard in it. But I don't use these, so I'm gonna fill this with hay. Okay, what do you think of this? Wow! Amazing. Is it good hay? Oh, your sister's gonna eat from your mouth. <laughs> Thank you. You get your hair. So messy. So messy. Lola has outsmarted the system and uh, she's realized that the open hay boxes have the exact same type of hay in there. Are you ready for your mush? Is that what you're waiting for? Yeah. Look. It's yummy. Come in. I put up here. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Your hair's looking decent. It's not looking too bad. Come in. This way. Are you gonna try the baby food? Yeah. Try that. Is it yummy? Hi, Nanny. Oh, are you going in there to go? What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Give kiss. Mwah. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, I got you a little snack. Would you like to snack on this? Oh, yes. Oh, it's kind of big. I don't know, it's kind of big. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I think we need to cut it. What do you say? You say, no, I want the whole thing. Here, I hold it, you just, you just chomp on it. Okay? No? Yeah, like that. Funny, you were the cutest. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you should eat this whole puff. I mean, it's not gonna hurt you. You could use the weight. Can I have it? Let go. You're so strong. Thank you. So I just wanted to show you guys what Lenny's hair looks like. As you can see, you can see the dark patches here. And that is hair growth. So right there, that's hair growth. But it's also very sparse and it's such an interesting thing. Same with his head. Hey. 
You have hair growth, but you also have hair loss. You came back so soon, you didn't hide the poof. <gasps> no poof hiding. He's like, I would like the rest of it, ma'am. I know you haven't. Hey, come here. You haven't tried to come on this, I don't think. Well, I haven't seen you. Come this way. Come in. I want to see you in here. Whoa, you're tightrope walking. Oh, you did it. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Well, thank you for showing us how it works. Is that your new trick? You're like, here, I'll show you multiple times. Okay, now you're gone. Okay, bye. <laughs> no, you're back. Oh, I see you. You want to say bye to everyone? No? Okay. So I'm gonna end this video here and I will keep you guys updated on Lenny and how he's doing. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye.